Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about a pair of headphones that gives you the ability to change the sensitivity on the headphones from the hardware, not just from the software, so you can tune them to the way you like. This is TK, let's check them out. The box is very simple. The company is called OVC Plus. I want to say thank you very much for allowing me to check it out. Uh, the air charger is the G3H, uh, sorry, versatile earphones. The H1 is the model number. Uh, the reason why these are special, and you'll see it right there in the little picture, is that it has the ability of changing the sensitivity on the playback for the music experience between three different settings, and we'll get into that. It does come with a one-year guarantee, so they're basically just focusing on the fact that it's a uh, carbon fiber composite diaphragm, uh, also the ability of changing the different sensitivities, as mentioned right here, between 90, 93, and 95. Um, and it just changed the audio profile playback and they give, you, they give you the graphs to be able to basically see it. So you have low, medium, and right. I'm not sure if this is L and it's just basically L, M, and right. Um, and then all these things are set up on the back of the earphones and I'll show that to you guys. And you can change between the three on the fly, which means you can just change it right away. You don't have to worry about your software. This is compatible with iPod, iPhone, and iPad meaning it will play music with the functional remote that's built in in line only with these three devices. It, but it also will work with any Android device, just normally be aware uh, you lose the functionality of the remote. Opening the box, you're greeted with the, four, uh, the two additional sets of tips. There's one already pre-installed. Uh, you can lift the actual entire box out. You get a manual, a little bit of silica gel here. Um, and it gives you again the same information. The remote control, as I mentioned to you guys, has a volume up, volume down, play and pause. And of course, a built-in microphone with the ability of uh, answering and hanging up calls if the call is coming in on your device. Uh, last but not least, uh, just basically integrate, you know, it says use it, plug it into your device. On the bottom, we do have a case. So they do provide you with a carrying case here. So as mentioned before, they uh, seem to have taken that normal hack that most people use on iPhone cables where they put a little spring at the end so that it doesn't actually end up bending most of the time uh, to provide you some extended protection here on the headphone. And of course, you have the three print connectors which will work directly with your iPhone. Uh, the pieces themselves are marked with right and left. They are made out of uh, metal. You can hear that. And as you can see here, there is some tuning functionality. Now, they've both been set to the right. This is the, yeah, this is the, uh, the full one with the full sensitivity up to 95. Middle is the goes 93, and then the left one is 90. Uh, the inline remote, as I showed you guys with the, uh, with the instruction, with the word QVC on it on it. And uh, the wire itself is actually a flat cable, tangle-free, supposed to be easy and simple, not, and nothing to worry about. Um, overall, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and check them out. Last but not least, I want to show you guys real quick how to be able to change the tuning on this. They do provide you with a tool, although I found that, honestly, if your nails are a little bit long, you can pretty much do it yourself. You can do this and then change the different setting. It's very simple. There's no clicking mechanism. You just need to see it. And again, it's the point of the one on the inside. So if I want to go all the way to the right, I can just point it. So as long as that little, uh, the, the, the direction is going directly towards it, it's done. And then you can just switch it around backward and forward. So you can get it. I'm sure you, uh, you'll be able to figure it out over time. So obviously be aware if you're going to be using it with the latest iPhone, uh, you are going to need the adapter. It does work through the adapter and it will use the DAC that's built in there. Um, to my understanding, these headphones do not have a DAC. So the audio quality you're going to be getting is dependent on the quality of the connector. So this is based on what the iPhone is based. Uh, it's going to be working with us. I'm going to play some songs and see how it sounds like for us. I went ahead and switched one to be all the, uh, on the high on the left, and I'm going to make the right one to be the low. The audio is pretty good. Uh, again, they work pretty good. They're advertised to work with iPhone. They're going to work the way they were supposed to. Uh, again, your experience is going to be dependent on the uh, connector. So if you have, let's say, an iPad and you do have better audio there, this is going to work for you a lot better. Now you're going to be wondering, is, uh, do I really need to keep carrying this with me all the time to tune it? 
The fact of the matter is, once I started using them, I tuned them pretty much to one level and I left them there. But if I wanted to change them, I found that actually, if your nails are not super, super short, you can actually just adjust it directly with your nail. It's not hard, it's not very resistant, so as long as you're just able to put it in and then just twitch it around, it works very nicely. So you can do it on the go without necessarily using the tool. I think the tool is definitely the easiest way, but if you're keeping them in the carrying case, you can definitely leave the tool in there, so you're not gonna be too far from it. But if you don't, you're, good, you're still pretty much set. Um, I'll give you guys a link in the description below and again say thank you very much for allowing me to check them out. They're definitely high quality, they play really good audio playback, they're very nice, tangle free, uh, a decent distance and it also has some protection at the end so that you don't have that bendy effect at the connector that we've had with most iPhone cables. Uh, I think they just took a standard mod that most people used to do which taking is the, the little push pin pen, take the spring from there, put it around the, the cable and they integrated it into the device so I think it's ingenious. Listen to what most people do and do that. So. It'll never bend. See, look, <laughs> it'll always go back up. Very nice, very simple. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.